What is going on, everybody? Welcome to my review of the highly anticipated The Fall Guy. Now, before I jump into this review, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, leave a comment, all helps this video, helps the channel. So thank you in advance if you do happen to do any of those things. Now, The Fall Guy follows a stuntman who is played here by Ryan Gosling, who he's in love with this director who's played by Emily Blunt, but they had a falling out after he had a huge injury on set and kind of ghosted her, but he gets a second chance to try to win her back by trying to do this grand gesture of finding the lead star of her latest movie who has gone MIA, bring him back to set so that she can complete her dream movie and that hopefully they can rekindle their romance. Now this movie just looked like it was going to be a love letter to stunt teams and just filmmaking in general and it absolutely is both of those things. I mean it's clear from the get-go that David Leach who was previously a stuntman and became a director, he really has an affinity for the craft naturally uh, and I think that he really gives a proper spotlight to these stunt people who are so good at their jobs, who risk their lives every day to bring us entertainment and to make other actors look really good. And not only that but he's delivering some really great practical action sequences that I feel like have been missing a little bit from his previous films. I think these are some of his best action sequences. I think that they're extremely entertaining and I think that he really leans into his stunt background and delivers some of the best action that you're gonna see all year with only minimal use of visual effects here and there. So it was great to see so much great practical tactile stunt work that is really impressive and will just wow you on a huge screen. So there's amazing stunts, there's amazing action in the film, but really the big highlight here is the pairing of Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt who have electric chemistry in this movie. I mean both of them are super charming in their own right but the fact that they're able to have such an easygoing fun dynamic with one another and just kind of just ooze chemistry constantly throughout this movie is incredible. I mean I love their scenes together. I love their banter and their relationship and how they make it feel fleshed out even though they're not given a lot to work with on paper because a lot of their relationship is fleshed out through you know montage flashbacks and not a lot of actors can sell that when that's all they have to work with for the most part but they do it with ease and both of them are such natural comedic performers I mean their timing is just impeccable I mean just this phase of Ryan Gosling's career where he's really leaning into his comedic talents is such a blast I mean I love seeing him in this this role is just engineered for him. I mean, his physical comedy, the way he's able to time the jokes perfectly, even the ones that don't really work on paper, he's still able to make work on the screen. And the amount of laughs that both of them were able to get out of me throughout the runtime was amazing. I mean, there were a lot more jokes that landed than missed, and that's saying something given a movie that's over two hours and is c consistently trying to make you laugh. And the supporting cast here is also really solid. We have Hannah Waddingham from Ted Lasso. We have Aaron Taylor Johnson, who has been shown minimally in the marketing, but he He's actually really fun in the movie and he gets a lot more screen time than you think he will and I think that he's really fun and also Winston Duke is so much fun in this movie as like a stunt buddy of Ryan Gosling's character loved him. And for a movie that's over two hours, I don't really think it overstays its welcome. I think it's got really solid pacing throughout. Like I said, that great chemistry between Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt really, you know, just propels this film and I think it keeps it afloat when things start to get a little bit rocky in terms of the plot and they 100% they carry this movie on their shoulders. I don't think this movie would have worked without the two of them. And the movie's also just really funny and entertaining. This is just a endlessly entertaining movie. It is an absolute summer blockbuster popcorn film and it's just engineered to make audiences happy and I think this is going to be a big crowd pleaser this weekend. It's going to make you laugh. It's going to put you on the edge of your seat. It's just a great time. I mean, is it perfect? No. I do think that, like I said, there are some jokes in this movie that don't really work that that even you know, Gosling and Blunt can't really sell. I think the plot's a little bit too messy and, and it's pretty simple, the plot. And I feel like they try to make it overly complicated or they attempt to make it complicated and intriguing and it doesn't quite work because it's pretty bare bones, the plot in this movie. And I feel like it just comes across as messy a lot of the time. And there are a couple scenes in this movie that I feel like go on way too long because they're really trying to stretch them out to get more laughs out of them. And it doesn't quite work. And those scenes really draw attention to themselves and really drag down the runtime a little bit. But other than that, the Fall Guy is a ridiculously entertaining movie. It's got amazing performances from its talented cast, especially Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, who are on fire here. A Barbenheimer reunion, if I've ever seen one beautiful stuff. And as a director, I do think that this is David Leach's strongest film to date. And it really is a love letter to filmmaking, to, you know, stunt people, stunt performers, and just to being on set and just enjoying the movie making process. So I really love that as someone who loves movies and 
being around that sort of thing. So in the end, I'm gonna give The Fall Guy, I'm gonna give this movie a four out of five stars. I know I've been giving out a lot of fours lately, but there have been some good movies hitting theaters. We are being spoiled over the past month or so. So enjoy this, people. Enjoy these good movies that are hitting theaters. We don't get this quite often. So enjoy The Fall Guy this weekend. Even with its flaws, it's still a ridiculously entertaining movie that is sure to put a huge smile on your face and give you that you know, big screen entertainment value that you're looking for, especially to kick things off this summer. So that is my review of The Fall Guy. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you take it into consideration if you're thinking about seeing this one or not this weekend. And if you do check it out, let me know in the comment section what you think of this movie. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you middle of the road on it? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to follow me on social media, put my handles at the bottom of the screen and they'll be in the description of this video as well. And make sure to follow my film podcast, Film on Tap, where every other week I get together with my buddies. We talk about movie news, trailers, we review movies, we go on some weird, wild, hilarious tangents. It's so much fun. Links to that in the description as well. And until next time, everybody, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic.